Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another Second Breakfast podcast. I'm Andy Roth, alongside Phil Duvall. Say hi, Phil. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I hope you had a good weekend, yes? <laughs> it is the Mondays, no? Uh, Mondays are so bad, yes? Oh, he's no? annoying, yes? folks, but he's not wrong. It's time for another five-minute Monday, which we're actually going to try and keep to five oh. minutes, because we say uh, that every week and we never do it. Five. Five. Minutes. Five minutes. The thing I like about five minute worst Monday. person in the world. I actually want to get started talking about this one because because it it's a great question crazy. and I'm already angry about it. I'm already angry. Uh, this was suggested to us. I'm not even sure. Normally, I say the name of the person. I, I feel like not saying it because I'm so. I think angry. you should protect the names. Of, I yes. think you should protect yes. his and name, not because he's innocent. I love. I love. I love this person like a sibling. I'm mad at him for asking this question. Okay, I love him like a brother. I was trying to even protect the gender, but that's fine. Um, so I love this person like a sibling. <laughs> question. I realize I'm wading into contentious seas here. Um, I didn't know seas could be contentious. The the ocean is deep and implacable. I realize that's a I'm terrible question asker. Continue. I realize I'm wading into contentious seas here, but why is it a cardinal sin? to text during a movie. Because you're an understand. idiot. Stop asking that question. Continue <sighs> reading. I, un I can understand a ringing phone being distracting, but I never got, really got what the big deal was about a little square of light. Because it's distracting. Because it's distracting to see a little square of light, especially if everybody does it, then you see 20 different squares of light or hundreds of squares of light. Here's but a, here's a question. Aside else... Here's a question. What's – are movies and the environment you watch them in, are they light or dark, Phil? Um, I, I watch movies. When I go to the movie theater, it's dark. Yes. What is the one thing that can distract you from darkness? Light. Boom. Oh. So what you're saying is it's the same thing as like – I mean, here's the deal, dummy who asked the question, whose name I want to say so badly just so to ruin bad. you, is, is it's like the same reason why when you're driving in a car in, at nighttime, no one turns on the reading lights because you can only focus on one thing that's lit up. And when there's a bunch of other lit up points, it freaks you out. Whether it should or not, it does. Yes. Aside, here's the, it's what? also just offensive. It's just, off hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see why it's stupid? But I'm not making any sound. But you're being a jerk. <laughs> We're I, all in this together. No, movie theaters are the most beautiful movies. You've commented that movies are like church. And let me say something about that. Like most churches, we're all facing the same direction. We're all watching something. We're all kind of by ourselves. But at the same time, we are sharing an experience. Yes. And I recognize that. We're never going to see those people, unlike church, you probably see the same people at church over and over again, but sure. like in, in the movie theater, probably not going to see most of those people again, but it nevertheless, just, it's a shared experience. One. And here's the other thing. You're not that important. No. Put your effing phone down. You're, you're not that important. There's nothing that's happening. Unless you're a surgeon, which you're not, okay? And by the way, most surgeons have backups. If you're going to the movies, just be at the movies, man. Just yeah. be at the movies. You know what? You know the thing about texting is texting. Is, the thing about texting is you put your phone on and it's on vibrate. That's one thing because you have an emergency. Texting is, I have checked out of whatever's happening. Yes, by definition, not an emergency. You know who movie theaters employ? Ushers. I know that no one actually uses them for this purpose, but you can give them your phone, and if it is actually an emergency, they will come get you. Is that a real thing? Yes. They need to publicize that. That's genius. I it wouldn't is let them publicize. But theaters do that. Theaters of all kinds do that. I just turn off my phone or put it on vibrate. Yes. And then if you really want to be a butthead, go to the bathroom and, and text there. But yes. like, it's a point of light. It's annoying. And the fact that you even said, in fact, the fact that you even said, what's the problem with a little square box of light? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Just watch the movie. You're not that important. I. I am reminded, a, a friend of mine, I was having lunch with them in, 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 in the Tufts dining hall, and and <clears throat> I was eating, and <laughs> nice. Oh, well I'm played. sorry. What? Go ahead. Oh, I'm so, oh, have you checked out? Am I boring? Oh, sorry. Right? Sorry. Sorry. Um, Go ahead. And I, I uh, <laughs> well played. I, I was chewing and talking, and then I coughed, 
and nothing nothing like came out of my mouth or anything. But he was but he was like gross, dude. And I was like, what's the matter? I'm not sick. And he's like, oh, that's the reason it's annoying. <coughs> <coughs> it's okay. I'm not sick. <coughs> and I was like, that's really an excellent point. That's an excellent point. So there you go, unnamed rapscallion. We're so angry. I'd like to end this whole podcast on a positive note. Please do. Okay. I want to tell you a story. Do I want to tell them a story or do I just want to say something happy? Which do you want to hear? Do you want to hear a story? Say something happy. Save Save the story. Hugo Weaving is such a great actor. Like Hugo Weaving is so lovely and fantastic yes. and scary and happy and wonderful. Everything that Hugo Weaving is in is better because Hugo Weaving is in it. That's true. It has nothing to do with what we were talking about before. And I don't even want to say what we were talking about before. I've already forgotten because Hugo Weaving is I so about it, I got angry good. again. So say Hugo Weaving's name again. Hugo Weaving yes. plays Elrond. Yes. He was in Lord of the Rings trilogy. He was in The Matrix. He's in V for Vendetta. He is in Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. He's in um, so many things, and he's so good. He's in Captain America. Yeah. And 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 every time he's in something, I'm like, that was a good call. Way to go, world. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm so excited for The Hobbit. So excited. And to be fair, I'm not excited because Hugo, Hugo Weaving is in it. Doesn't hurt. But it doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Oh, and on that peaceful, zen, tranquil note, thank you, Phil. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday, God bless everybody. You all. We didn't yes. we didn't make five minutes, but we're never gonna make five minutes. Shh, don't say never. But at least at least we didn't make like nine. So okay. there you go. Let's let's <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it up, Danny. This has been another five minute Monday. I'm Andy Roth, alongside Phil DeVall. Bye bye. Bye bye.